Hello YouTube, welcome back to Fallout Who are standing in the same place because I haven't left yet. Now we are dying from horrible radiation poisoning. Hopefully the next mission will not have as much radiation because we are fresh out of anti-radiation equipment. Um but yeah, so Willow's gonna stay up there. I'm gonna actually take and switch my apparel back to my suave stuff. Oh yeah, I have the up oh yeah, let's check out the outfits for the other. So that would be the eighth doctor, minus the hat, of course. And this would be the oh, oh that's very nicely. I like that. It's very nicely done. Doesn't really look like a uh, leather jacket though. It looks more like a like a sweater. But that's okay. I still like the tenth more. Actually, come to think of it, what am I supposed to get with the tenth if I've already found his outfit? Huh. And I have his void glasses and everything. No. Oh well. To the just to the engineering room. We're gonna go build some stuff. Hopefully this leads to the engineering room, and hopefully I can get through this hallway. Yes. Okay, now where does this go? That goes to the control room because you know that way just goes to the control room too. Don't ask that kind of logic. Let's see if we can find the. I don't know what floor we're on, mind you. We're just uh, goofing around over here. Okay, let's go up one. Whee! Alright. Ow, that one hurt. Why do I have a, uh, objective marker? There's an objective marker randomly. Interesting. Oh, the red zone. Well, that's not good. That probably means we're in the wrong part of the ship. Uh, you know, I swear I can't find any anything in this ship. But this is the wrong floor, I'm pretty sure, so I'm not going to even be bothered. Where, oh, where, oh, where is my engineering room? It's really hard to navigate the TARDIS because you can, it's not completely narrowed down to a basic science because it kind of flops around a lot. Giggity. But it's um, it's weirdly set up. So sometimes it's hard to actually figure out where you are and where you're going. It's really annoying. Okay, so this one takes us straight to the lower floor. Crack. Let's just go crack. Let's just go straight. Right? That looks like... Do you? That's why that problem probably leads straight back to the uh, control room. Or maybe it doesn't. Where the heck are we? We're in the red zone, which means we should be close. Yeah, here. We're near this area. Nothing happens. Yes, I know nothing happens. I have it shut down so I don't kill myself. I can't do that either. I wonder if I'm missing anything around here. Probably am. Okay, well, let's go through the Eye of Harmony room, because that's usually a good place to start. And we will go in here, go this way, and then this way heck is this thing? I still don't know what this is. Is this from the TV show? Well, I'd assume it's from the TV show, but what episode is this from? I don't remember this. And what is it? These little Time Lord baby eggs? What, are we growing dinosaurs in here now or something? I mean, geez. Tree, time, time Lord tree dinosaur. Oh, that'd be kind of freaky. Yeah, well, this is one of those infamous glitchy spots. See, there are spots that aren't properly programmed for jumping around, I think, and they uh, they kind of blow up like that. That's the control room. Well, straight across to the left, maybe? Please? No? No. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm lost. We're going to spend like a million and a half years wandering around in circles. 
Or we can cheat. Cheating always works. It tends to be the fastest way for me to find anything in this stupid thing. Frack it. We'll be right back. And boom, we're here. See, I knew we'd find it one day, three and a half years later. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, what can we build now? Uh, we got a Dalek submachine gun, which may be one of our... <gasps> Done, done, done. What? Well, that's never been in here before. We're building it. I, I'm not ready to become a time lord. I still have to get this, the the essence or whatever to stuff into that, so I can actually become a time lord. But, um, um, this. Let Let's build this. We can do that. Let's build time. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, also. Um, change casing. I want to see what the version 8 casing looks like. Oh, right. Hopefully I can change it back. If not, problematic. Uh, where, where is it? There, where, there it is. Hey. Hey. Sonic. And then Sonic, what was it? 8.2? I think is the one I got stuck on last time, which is alright, though. Oh, yeah, this is that weird-looking one from the movie, I would assume. But I can still change it. So, switch to 11. And I don't think the laser has anything yet. Or has anything at all, to be honest. But Okay, so. So. Okay, okay. Uh, grab all of our equipment. It's not in there. It's in this one. Take it all. We're heavily over-encumbered. But let's see what we've got and what we need now. We've got all of the stuff that we usually have. We can build this. Not two, just just one. We'll be fine. Okay, we've got one. I hope it's badass and awesome. I'm not gonna build that because I don't have unstable gel gelidinite, which I'm assuming is something I'll have to go get. I need basulium, jethrich, and validium for my uh, my fob watch, which I'm gonna build now, so I don't have to worry about it later. <gasps> this is so exciting! Okay, Bazillium, Jethric, and some other stuff. Ugh. 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 I'm gonna throw everything I don't need in here because it's weighing me down to an enormous degree. Oops. Go back. Should all be in here. Uh, yeah, Chrono Coils, Control Dye Stocks, the Dalekium. Dalekium, pardon me. Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably what's holding me down, all that wiring, which I don't need to make a fob watch, apparently, all that stuff, junk. I need those. Don't need those. Nestine polymers. I don't think I need that. Uh, silence pistol mag. Oh. i will have to stuff that someplace. Bunch of repair things. I think I needed a... Did I need telepathic crystals? I don't know. I'll come back if I need them. Okay. Should be able to run around again. Yeah, there we go. Okay, fob watch. Where is it? Okay. Yes, I need one telepathic crystal and validium and then bazoolium and jethro. Okay. So let's start this running. You make bazoolium. And we go in here. And we're going to grab uh, a telepathic crystal and the one validium that we have. And while we wait, uh, let's uh, check a look at this thing. Which, let's see, that's our gun. So let's put it there. And put that there. So we're not using those stupid Dalek bombs anymore. Okay. Does it have modes? Actually, come to think of it. Did it upgrade? No. Neutralize. Maximum exterminate. Oh. Well. What does it look like from uh, up here? Oh, that looks sick. <laughs> I'm going to keep this thing. I have... Pretty decent ammo, too, all things considered. Ooh, that looks badass. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Refine more bazoolium. Now we wait. This is what you call boring episode number 15. So, yeah. So, yeah, what we're going to do is I'm going to go see if I can figure out... Um, uh, well, I assume what I have to do is I just have to... Uh, yeah, I got enough of that. Uh, Jethric. I think I need it. Is it I needed 10 of all of it? No, I need... Well, I need one thing of Jethrix. That'll be enough. And then I just need to do Validium four times. Uh, uh, so... 
uh, let's see. I, I get in the fob watch, which was I swear wasn't in there before, so I'm not sure where that came from, but meh, 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 meh. But, um, so now I have to go level up my temporal uh, biometrics, or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. I have to go find it. It's over there. But uh, we can go look at that, look at that, and figure it out. I'm liking this gun though. Like that's just a killing shot. Maximus exterminatus. And then this like explodes. Yeah, it's like an explosive weapon. So we keep it on neutralized for now. Let's stick that back there. We got a decent amount of ammo for it too. Where are we at? Two more. Come on. Come on. Stuff moves too slow for me sometimes. When I get excited, I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna become a time lord! Which is kind of cool. It's also kind of sucks at the same time in a way. Me, uh, quick save, by the way. I don't think I saved between episodes, which is unfortunate. I usually always save between episodes in case an episode doesn't pan out properly. But that's all right. I'm sure nothing could possibly go horribly wrong. Califrey and Bob watch. Boom. Now. That's pretty much of no use at the moment. So let's wander carefully over to the other room that should be on this level, which should be easily found. That's control room. Ah, bugger it. Hold on, I'll find it and be right back. Okay, we're here. This, th it's this thing. I have a base protein, but, um, I don't know if it shows me where I'm at. Here it is. Biochemistry. Antiviral to a tea bag, unstable sea. I don't have this leveled up, so I don't I don't think I can pretty much make anything. I have to level up my skills by extracting things. So like if I put well, I don't know how to be honest, I don't actually know how this works. Yeah, see I have no ex there, begin extraction. See, it's going to take 60 seconds. So this is kind of what I call grinding, as it were. We're already at 15 minutes. I don't want to make these episodes too long, but then again, it's going to be a little bit shorter than that because I have to cut out quite a bit of wandering around. So we'll hold off for a little bit, see what we got going on here. Yeah, but see, here's our chemistry set. Oh, there's the unstable gelite or whatever. Base acids, base alkalis. See, I don't actually know how that works. Base acids, base acids. I don't know what gives me what. I guess you just have to figure it out. So, like, I have anti-venom in there right now, which is probably kind of silly, because I don't know what that's going to give me. An acid, maybe? I don't know. I have like a base protein, I think I put like cereal in there or something maybe. It's gonna take a while until it levels up. It's like the engineering took a long time. Oh. And it didn't give me anything. Okay. Probably not something that I can break down. Beer can probably be broken down. I still got 10% though for it. 10, uh, 10 points for it. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cut the episode. Uh, not cut it. Like I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop recording, and then I'll come back once we uh, level up a little bit. Because to, let's be honest here, this is gonna take a long time. So I'll come back in a second here, and we'll see where we're where we stand. All right. All right. We'll see you in a minute, guys. Um, hi, so I'm just sitting here doing my thing, you know, doing all this, getting some base alkalines and stuff, like I was a second ago, and then I noticed the thing sitting up on the, <laughs> I noticed that there's a thing sitting up there, yeah, I wonder if I can do that to Will's Dog Biscuit, oh, I leveled up, did I get new things, probably not, I noticed that. 
Biogenic weaponry for beginners. I don't know where that would be. I can't hear anything. Can't I hear anything? Did I not plug my headset in properly? Peculiar. Alright, there it is. Skistis. It's a schematic. I'm going to assume I have to go build that. I also noticed there's a hypercube up there. And I swear I checked this room for hypercubes the first time around, but. There we go. Can't hear Jack. What the heck? Why am I not hearing anything? Did I not switch the cable out? It did switch the cable out. Why can't I hear anything? Hello, we're back again. Jeez, that was a long wait. So, uh, oh, right, I have to throw something in there. Hold on. So I can show you. Throw that anti in there. I have reached biometric level 5. Which is usually where everything good starts, is when you reach level 5. And then I looked in here, and there it is. The symbiotic nuclei. I don't know what this other stuff is. I could have used those one mission ago. Plus 18,000 rad resistance. We're going to make some of those. Now, I actually, in the process of all this work, I actually had way too many of those base nuclei and crap. So I actually had to throw them all in a, in a suitcase way to hell over here. Pardon the language. It's been a long time. I've been, like, sitting here for, like, an hour doing this. Here they are. We're going to take them all. Take, like, 25 of each. So that way we can make some of that. So we can make some of those rad pills, too. There. Okay. Also, on a side note, we actually have to come back here. I don't know if it's something I can make. Was it something to make? The fob watch I've already made. Oh, yeah. We're going to show off a few things before we become a time lord if I don't get lost on the way back to the lab here we go so I've got my fob watch I've got my proteins let's become boom we did it we made it also I'm gonna make one of those a couple two of those I've got six radiation pills. Alright, so we've got our genetics, so now we can become a Time Lord. And I'm only stalling for time. Alright, so, um, let's go here. We can actually get now, we have uh, version 10, yes, a Sonic Screwdriver version 10. been a long time. I apologize. I'm a little offbeat. Hee hee! It looks a little weird just because the top is kind of bumpy. See that? I don't even know what mode that was. No. I don't like it. I don't like it. Still a fan of the green one for the time being. I think I'm just picky. So what is that that hole there? Now that should be my uh, that thing. Yeah, there we go. So uh, what was I gonna do in here? Oh yeah, I was gonna show off some stuff. Um, psychic paper. Look, psychic paper. I haven't. that do? I don't know what that does, but we're going to add that to our arsenal of not weapon weapons. Meaning basically everything before the big guns. There we go. I don't know what that does exactly, but it does something. Also, I got this, finding that one cube. Which is basically the outfit, I think it's basically the outfit I'm wearing, except it doesn't have the trench coat. See? 
Well, at least it's similar. I think that it is a little different just because I, you can see under there he's not wearing the blue suit. He's wearing like a brown suit. So it, it's kind of the same. It's not the same, though. Is there anything I need to make? No? I've been waiting a long time for this, guys. Okay, let's try and find our way back to the console room. Also, just in case. <laughs> you never know when something is going to go horribly wrong. We're back. Hi, Willow. What was that? That sounded weird. We're here. Yes. So now, all that is left to do is to take the symbiotic nuclei and may the gods forgive us for what we do. I don't know what that means, but boom. Oh, God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, DNA changing. Ah, Matt, what is this? Oh, oh Lord. Ah! It is written in the winds and waves of time that you will become a great hero. You will force out evils and overcome injustices. Where there is adventure to be had, you will overcome all obstacles and seize the day. You will become the champion of times. Uh, you will become times champion itself. That was under dramatic, wasn't it? Boom. <clears throat> um Yeah, so uh Respiratory bypass. Let's say water breathing. Symbiotic nuclei, time travelers DNA. I've got deadly rat poisoning, which I need to fix. <laughs> But we'll uh, work on that. Rosalind Impromature. The Rosalind Impromature, imbued with DNA of the greatest Time Lord in history, you now possesses, you now possesses the secret of Time Lord biology. We're a Time Lord! We did it, Willow! We did it! Mwah! I'm just kidding, I didn't really kiss you. It looks like she just wiped it off her face. That's hilarious! And in the next episode, guys, after that really long, semi-boring episode in time for me, we will go to the moon and investigate the transmission. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, in this exciting revelation. We are now a Time Lord. This series is sadly coming to a close soon, isn't it? We're kind of accomplishing all our goals. Huh. We'll worry about that later. See you guys next time. Hello, YouTube.